morning, everyone. I hope you're having a wonderful day so far. My name is Dylan with Designs by Dylan. And Dean and I are excited to be here this morning to create another fabulous week for you guys. Um, Easter's over, so I hope y'all had an amazing Easter weekend. Mine was super busy and fun. We spent a lot of family time. Warden came down. She had a surprise for us. Uh, she ain't got a man. But anyway, I'll tell you all about it on the video. But let me get this iPad logged in so Dean can see the comments. But now that um, Easter is kind of behind us, we're going to start moving into summer. Um, so everybody can start getting some ideas and inspiration for what to put on their door for summer. Because y'all know, coming up after Mother's Day, which is like in a month from today probably, um, we've got fall hopefully starting to roll in. So we're excited for that. So as y'all join us this morning, y'all leave a comment down below. Let us know you're here, where you're watching from. And any questions or comments you have throughout today's video, drop those down below as well. <clears throat> I've got... Lots of pretty florals, and we're going to use a moss wreath again. I know you all are probably like, Dylan, cut it out with the moss wreath. And I know my divas are probably like that in my group, but I just love them so much. And it's something different. And you remember, you can always replicate what we create on a moss form on a grapevine form. So just keep that in mind. Um, you can do it either or, depending on what style that you want to go with. So I've got my moss wreath, 18-inch moss wreath. Okay, they're on the website, ellisonmangarden.com. The item of the week this week is spring floral, and it's 15% off. And I just have a huge variety here. Um, I'm hoping all the stuff's on the website. Some of it might not be, but if not, girl, you better drive on down to a store location and come see us in person. Okay, so look at these. These are really pretty, like these pink foam florals. They're called Wild Buttercup Sprays. I've got a little bit of green snowball because those are like on a vine, and I'm obsessed with vines, especially in spring and summer and in fall. I've got some of this berry greenery, which I believe this is on the website. I've got some pink sprays. Some yellow daisy sprays with a little bit of white in them. And then I have a plain greenery bush here. And the, the best thing about this greenery bush is you've got all like five or six different types of greenery and textures. So you're basically putting five greeneries in one wreath, but they're all blended together. So this kind of does all the work for you because it's all tied together. So we're going to put all that stuff in this fabulous wreath. And because we've got lots of pinks and yellows and greens, I'm going to use these two ribbons here. I've got a one and a half inch that's pink and white stripe, and I've got a two and a half inch that is a green burlap base. And I thought these would be great together, contrast well, and they would blend in really well with the flowers. So, first of all, hello. Y'all leave a comment. Let us know how your Easter was, what you did. Dana, what'd you do? Did you have to work on Easter? That morning. But oh, your mom cooked though, right? Yeah. Tell us the whole spread. We had ham, oh. had mashed potatoes instead of sweet potatoes, mm -hmm. green beans, and corn instead of macaroni. Mm. She forgot macaroni. How dare her. That's the best thing. Um, I love all that stuff, though. And I used to not be a corn person, but I could eat corn on the cob all day. Like, it's my favorite. And I like whole kernel corn, but I'm not a fan of that sweet corn. You know what I'm talking about? Is mm -hmm. kind you like? Or do you? I like dog corn. Oof. I like corn dip. You ever had that? Mm -hmm. So good. Well, we had, on Sunday, my family came over and we just had hamburgers. And, of course, I ate one with no bun, so it wasn't as fun. But we just hung out. But, for, uh, let's see. Thursday night, I have my live sale. Friday night, Friday at 2 o'clock, my mom and her husband came to my store, and we're redoing everything for this next season. And so, uh, what did we do? He worked on putting up some boards for me. Um, some so It's like paneling that looks like old wood. So for the fall area, it's going to be all rustic and wood. And so, so he did that, and it took him six hours. And while he did that for six hours... I wanted the store to be a completely different experience this year, and I've changed my mind on the layout like 25 times because I've limited on space, but I have a 14-foot ceiling so I can build up. And so for six hours, my mom and I sat there and planned out the whole entire store, and you're probably thinking, girl, did it really take six hours? And it did. But we finally got a plan. Then, in the midst of all this, Morgan texted me and said <clears throat> that she was going to come on, come down on Friday instead of Saturday and surprise my mom. And I thought, well, that doesn't sound like Morgan at all. She ain't surprising nobody. And then before that, on Thursday night, I texted her at 8 o'clock, and she didn't answer me. And so I called her, and she called me at 8.30, and I was like, where have you been? And she says, I've been out um, with the girls from the office. We went to dinner. And I'm like, no, you haven't, because she tells me every day that the girls don't live in Frisco. They, have, they live like 45 minutes from there, so that's why they never go out. I thought that was strange, but I was just hoping, girl, you know, I watched The Bachelor a few times. I was just crossing my fingers. She had gave somebody a rose. Well... Friday, she texts me and she says, I'm coming down. I want to surprise mom. Don't tell her. And I, she, I said, okay, we're at the store uh, getting everything ready and keeps working. She said, okay, I'm going to come down. So she texts me when she's like five minutes away. And she rolls in the store. My mom was completely surprised. And then she was like, I have another surprise. And I was still thinking, oh, we're going to bring out the man. Or maybe she's engaged. 
No. But she bought a new car by herself. So she got a brand new car. It's like a Volkswagen something. It's an SUV. Super cute. But that's what she did on Thursday night. And I was like, I knew you, liar. I knew you didn't uh, go out with your friends because they live 45 minutes away. So congrats to Morgan on her new car. She was really excited. And so then on Saturday, the guys went fishing. And we painted all day long. We completely redid the whole store. And we finished it up yesterday. It looks fabulous. I can't wait for you guys to see it all in person or on Facebook later on in the fall. Um, so that's what we did all weekend. And then Sunday we ate lunch. And then I sat on the couch and did not move. Because we were all worn out from painting. Uh, that's a lot of work. I mean, painting's not hard. But it's just, ooh. And we had 14-foot ceilings. So I had to get on ladders and put the things on rollers. But anyway, that's how we, st we spent our Easter weekend. And I weighed today, y'all. I'm down 10 pounds. How you doing? I'm hungry as heck. But, um... It's been really good. I've just been eating lots of chicken and lots of vegetables and maybe a salad from here to there. But I haven't cheated one time. We went to, this is so hard, but we went to a Mexican food place on Friday. I didn't eat one chip. Can you believe it? I didn't even have them put the sauce in front of me because I was like, mm -mm, I don't want any temptation. But anyway, so all's going well on the diet, 10 pounds down. I've got to do a purse bingo for the East Texas Angel Network. And I'm hoping and praying I can lose another 10 before that happens. Hi, Carla. Okay, enough of me rambling, honey. Let's get on to this wreath. So, I'm going to use my moss wreath. I've got my two ribbons. I'm going to go ahead and tie these together to get myself a beautiful bow. And I'm going to start out with this one and a half inch ribbon. Okay. So, let's do about um, a 12 inch tail. And guys, if you're never sure, if you're unsure about what size your loop should be on your bow, just make a, a loop without tying it off and hold it up to your wreath. And you can kind of get a good idea or a picture of what it's going to look best. Okay. And if you have a Probo, and if you don't, girl, you better get on the website, ellishomeandgarden.com. Check out the Probo. They're like $39.99, and you can use those to achieve the same bow, and it saves your hands a little bit. And uh, if you were going to use a Probo, if you're familiar with that, I'd probably use row D or E to get about the same size as we have here. So I'm going to do five loops. Look at that pink and green together. Isn't that pretty, y'all? <clears throat> I'm going to do five loops. Two of the green, three of the pink, and I'm leaving the green tails longer because they're on the back side of the bow, and you can weave those down into your wreath, okay? Hi, baby. Good morning. So let's tie off this beautiful bow. <clears throat> so y'all leave us a comment and let us know what you ate for Easter, because if I can't eat it, I'm just going to live through you, okay? So y'all tell me what you ate. Dina had the whole spread, and it sounds wonderful. So y'all let us know what you had, what you cooked, or what you ate out. Okay, look at that uh, pretty bow. It's just five loops, and I do my bows sparse, and I talk about this a lot in Dylan's Divas, because I like to leave room to go back in there and add in all kinds of goodies. And you can't really do that if your bow's so thick. Morgan's on here now. Morgan, I was just telling everybody and congratulating you on your new car and your surprise. Honey, I thought you had brought a man home. That's what I was telling everybody, but no, we'll take the car. Maybe next, maybe next time. Okay, I'm putting the bow on, and guys, I'm going down here at the bottom of the wreath. Okay, uh, reminder, ellishomeandgarden.com, you can find this wreath, and there's a lot of different moss wreaths to choose from, and then the spring floral is 15% off, and that's the item of the week, okay? A crusher swirl with all the goodies, ham, sweet potato casserole, green beans, baked beans, hummingbird cake. What the heck is hummingbird cake? Do you know what that it's is? It's like a spice cake. Ugh, I love spice cake, but I love carrot cake more. No raisins. It's like a spice cake. Okay. I never heard of that before. Do you like tres leches? Mm-hmm. Ooh, God, that's so good. Y'all know my favorite cake is lemon, but <clears throat> I do like others. But I'm not really a sweets person like some people are. I'd rather have a whole meal, you know? <laughs> like, I'd rather eat chips and hot sauce than I would eat sweets. What are you, the opposite? Because uh, I can make a meal out of chips and dip. Oh, me too. Like, if I go to a, a party and there's a whole thing of desserts, I'm going to the meat and cheese tray first. The cheese cubes, I don't know what it is about cheese cubes, but I love them. And I eat chips. That's what my favorite snack is. It's bueno. You can make chips all the time. Where? Bueno. Uh, have you had their pico? You can't have onion blanket. Mm -mm. So good. Have you ever had their tortilla soup? Mm -mm. The bueno. They only have it in the fall. It's really, really good. Sidebar. Why are we talking about that? I'm so hungry. Um, I was going to tell you all something. Speaking of food. Oh, you know what else I've been craving lately? is cereal. Do you like cereal? 
I haven't had cereal in probably, I don't know, 10 years. But last night I was randomly laying in bed and I started craving Lucky Charms. So, mm. can we talk about something also? First of all, I've got this beautiful spray. We're going to put it in this wreath. Okay. <clears throat> I'm terrified of the dentist. Okay, I don't know if I've told you that before. When I drive there, I'm sweating. When I get there, I need a Depends. I mean, it's just the whole thing. I don't know if it's the smell in there, the noises. The staff is so friendly, but I'm just like, why are y'all friendly? Because I'm not in a good mood, you know? And they put that stuff in your mouth, and you can't breathe, and you think you're going to die. And they're like, how was your summer? And I cannot take it. Well, I was on, this is just validates why I'm scared of the dentist. I was on Facebook today, and KLTV, which is a local news station here, um, sidebar, did, did you see my post about that? Mm -mm. So, you know, I'm doing, uh, what's it called, Bubbles and Bingo for uh, East Texas Angel Network, which is the Neil McCoy Foundation. I'm one of the bingo callers. And I uh, guess who's doing it with me? Mark Skirdo. I know. We're going to be getting into a small, windowless interior room. I can't wait. But anyway, I was on the Facebook this morning scrolling through, you know, trying to wake up. And I'll be danged. I saw on KLTV someone was in the hospital in intensive care because they were in a dentist office locally because it was KLTV. And they inhaled a drill bit. And it was in their lung. So that's exactly why I can't go to the dentist. Mm -hmm. And that's also why I don't read the news because... If I always imagine something happening, it's going to be on the news. And it, it, it was. Georgia, me and you both, I'm so, I'm just terrified of the dentist. And I don't do that gas. It makes me nauseous. So maybe I need to take a, you know, a Xanax before I go in there or something. I don't know. But it, it's, it's scary. I'm just sitting there in the waiting room and hear the drill and my whole mouth just starts hurting. Me too. Me too. Okay, y'all. I've got this greenery spray. Glue this if you're at home. This is for demo. Okay, I'm putting the whole thing in the bottom, and that's going to give us fabulous length, okay? So, I'm going to, oh, that's good right there. Okay, we got that in, we got our bow. Now, need to lower it a little bit? Uh, no, I think it's okay. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to put in our, our greenery. So, this is just a mixed greenery bush. Again, the benefit of using this is that you have all different types and textures of greenery in here. So cut this off at the bottom. You want the longest pieces that you can get. We need to go to Teresa's dentist. Her dentist bakes cookies every day so her office won't smell like her dentist's office. Uh-uh. Because -uh. I can't think about eating. All I want is an IV to put me out. You know, like I got my wisdom teeth out one time and I wasn't scared at all because I knew I was going to be asleep. So like I, they took my blood pressure and it was completely normal. I was fine because I knew I was going to be blacked out in a minute. But even if I go for a teeth cleaning and I picture that them scraping your teeth. Ugh, I can't. Cannot do it. Okay, and I've talked about before, like my dream is to not cosmetic surgery, but veneers. They'd have to put me to sleep because, you know, they have to grind down your teeth and put all that. No. Mm -mm. Okay, enough at the dentist. Um, uh, we'll, our thoughts and prayers are with you if you have to go. We're going to put this green ring into our wreath now, okay, and take advantage of that sparse bow that we created on purpose because we're going to go in here and add all of this greenery to make it really full. Okay? Okay, Dana, ignore us. She hasn't wa ca got caught up yet, but if you watched American Idol the last two nights, Sunday, Monday, let me know your thoughts on the top 14. Are you happy with it? Are you sad somebody didn't make it? My thing is, I'm. he's not that great of a singer. But he's so entertaining. The guy that does the backflips, and he didn't make it, and I was so bummed because I just like to see what he's going to do. You know, I'm waiting for him to fly off the stage one day. He didn't make it. But that's the only one I was really disappointed in. But I think they did their, their job pretty well, you know, narrowing it down to everybody. Okay, so I'm narrow. I mean, I'm narrowing. I'm putting in the greenery, and I'm mixing it around that bow. See how pretty that looks, y'all? And this has got those great pieces of this Boston fern that kind of drapes down a little bit. So we're going to use that to our advantage and bend it, snap it, pop it, girl, in the direction that it goes. Let me know if anybody says anything about Idol. Sharon, you can go back and replay the video to see how he did the bow. Yeah, girl. And also, if you go to my YouTube channel, um, just go to youtube.com, type in Designs by Dylan, my little face will pop up, and uh, there's a bow tying video on there, it's free, and it just shows how to do a, a bow, up close. And I'm sure Ellis has some too, if you go back on the video tab, or uh, on their YouTube channel, I'm sure they have one, and if not, 
maybe I can get her to repost it later this week so it's, uh, y'all can see it. But the bow tying, I've got, I've done several tutorials on that. But remember, if you stress about bows, you can always use your Pro Bow, and those are available on the website, HelloFriendlyGarden.com. Trying to think what else has happened this week. Nothing too crazy. Josh has been gone. He has, uh, look at that, y'all. Perfect. He's been house sitting, and so I've been on like a little mini vacay. But after the first night, I was scared. So I'm ready for him to come back home. Um, I don't like being home alone that long. And the dogs have slept with me every night, which has been great. But, you know, I can't watch scary movies. I can't do any of that stuff if I'm going to be home alone. Because I know Josh ain't going to, he's not going to save me if the killer comes. He'll still be asleep. But at least I know that maybe they can get him first and I can run off. I don't know. So I just stress. Okay. Next up, <clears throat> we're going to use this fabulous buttercup spray. Okay, wild buttercup. Now, I don't know if these are on the website. Maybe so. I saw them in the store, and I was like, Rebecca's probably going to shoot me, but these are so pretty, I had to use them. And guys, if you're near a location, you know, Ellis has multiple locations, you got to come by because not only do they have great florals and all that stuff in person, but they've got a fabulous greenhouse. Oh, my God, Dina, I have a jalapeno, and I have a tomato growing on my vine. I mean, they're this big, but, you know, you got to start somewhere. Those of you who haven't watched before, this year Josh is so excited because he planted some vegetables. And so anyway, we've got a little produce coming. It's going to be a farmer's market over there. And also, y'all say a prayer for Dolly because today is her trial run on the third time that I've left her out in the house alone. She's done great the second, the first two times. Today's the third time. And I'm hoping to be home by one to check on her. So that's only about, what, four hours that she's out. But I had a talk with her before I left. She'll probably go poop on the bed because I talked to her or something. But, you know, i got to be stern with you kids. But I'm hoping we can get her out of that kennel and she can behave herself. And I'm not worried about her potting. She never has potted at the house. I'm worried about her getting separation anxiety and chewing something up because she's done that before with the poor sheetrock. I hope my landlord ain't watching. So anyway, you... Um, we're just taking it a little bit at a time. But if she wants to stay out with her sister, Stella, then she better behave. Okay, y'all, I'm adding in those little pink flowers there. Hey, Wendy, they're uh, blending in with that ribbon. I'm going to use probably two stems of this, so I'm going to go ahead and tear this one apart. Y'all, we watched a really good movie the other night. I'm probably going to butcher the name. I think it's called... We're going to get back to that. Dina, you're going to die. I had never seen Con Air. Okay, I had never seen Con Air. The, the other night, we couldn't find anything to watch. And Josh was like, have you ever seen Con Air? Because it came across the thing. And I was like, no, what is that? So good. Okay, and first of all, what happened to Nicolas Cage? He used to be like the number one actor. Josh hated because he won't shut his mouth. Is that true? Like he just, get, what did he get, political or something? Yeah. Okay, why do people do that? Okay, just keep it to yourself and make us a movie. Anyway, it was so good, y'all. Connie Ridiculous Cage. I mean, I love National Treasure. It's not like that. I could watch it every day. So anyway, what we're talking about? Oh, we watched a movie called Moonfall. I think that's what it's called. It's got Halle Berry, and they have to go to the moon. It's like a space show. Usually I'm not into that because they're slow. This was jam-packed. It was kind of some aliens in there, which I love some sci-fi like that. What's that movie called with the aliens? They come down, and there's like two or three of them. Predator. Have you seen those? Predator versus yeah. Alien? Love them. So good. Well, there's a bunch of them. I know. Have you seen that new? You like Julia Roberts, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, she has a new show coming out, y'all, called Gaslit. Have yeah. you seen that? Oh, yeah. it's going to be good. Who's she playing? Some president or something. She, uh, or first lady or something. Um, Nixon's wife. Yeah, Nixon's wife. Is she really that crazy? Oh, Lord. Okay, well, um, yeah, it's coming out soon, and I can't wait to see that. Have you seen um, August Osage County with Tyra Merrill? Mm -hmm. Ooh, that was rough. It was good. Okay, y'all. I'm keeping my pink buttercup stem moving around. You know, I'm kind of fluffing and adjusting my bow as we add more and more pieces. I'm just loving it. Okay. Now that we have that in there, 
I want to add a little bit of yellow. I need some contrasting colors, okay? So I've got these really pretty um, daisy cattail sprays. We've got the daisies and we've got the cattails, okay? And these are one of my favorites as well. We're going to mix these in together. I always get excited when I find an older movie because I'm like, Gina will love it. And I, she's probably going to be shocked I haven't seen it. The ones that you haven't seen, I'm just like, okay, okay I've never huh? seen. Um, you know, that came out the new Indiana Jones, same cast 2023. What's his name? Harrison Ford, everybody. My husband, yes, he is coming because they're filming it right now. I only knew that because something came up and he was in the movie. I was looking at on I'm a Wikipedia freak, and so I was looking at his filmography and it said Indiana Jones, something, something, something 2023. That's what I was looking at. I got stuck on a Steven Spielberg kick, like, I don't know anything about him. But I'm fascinated that he's worth $8 billion. And so I started looking up all these credits of his. Um, and the reason this all started is because I was watching Drew Barrymore's show. And the woman who played her mom on E.T. surprised her on the show. And I was thinking, oh my God. So I looked it up. And they were talking about Steven, Steven, Steven. And I was like, who is Steven? And so I looked it up, Steven Spielberg. And he's worth $8 billion. And so I started looking at his credits. And every single movie he's made has made like a billion dollars in the yeah. box office. He must be that good. I mean, good Lord. So that's how I looked up Indiana Jones. He was on that movie. He directed it. And then they're filming a new one. Mm-hmm. I have seen those. Okay. So you don't have to. <laughs> I used to watch those on VHS. <laughs> okay. I'm going to take my little yellow pieces. And I'm going to start mixing those in the wreath. And you know one director, though, guys, that is so strange. And I mean this in the best way but I can't ever follow his stuff as Quentin Tarantino. Like Kill Bill, what the heck's going on? I've watched those, don't know what's going on. I watched another movie he did, don't know what's going on. Do you feel that way or do you understand him? Yeah. It, he it, does, he, he thinks out of the box, I guess. This one, I'm going to his last name, M. Night Shyamalan. I think so. What does he do? I mean, what movie? Sixth Sense. Oh, okay. He does those and... I've seen that. Just good. when you think you've got it figured out, boom, there's a twist and you don't know it at all. So what's another movie like Six Sense I need to watch? I've seen that. Um, he did... Um, I've seen the one with Mel Gibson in the, the field. Village. I haven't seen that. Is it good? Is it scary or just weird? It's weird. Okay. Is it kind of creepy though? Yeah. Until you figure out what's going on, yeah. Okay, The Village. I think I'm going to look that up. Have you seen the one with Mel Gibson where the, the field, the cornfield... The signs. The signs. That's good. We saw that. I just watched that not too long ago. Y'all look at that. That yellow is really making it pop. And everything's tying together. Okay, The Village. I haven't seen that. I watched one of the night that you would love, but it's not on. I bought it. I mean, like, it's 20 bucks on something. But it was a scary movie. You'd love it. Sam says she's camping in Tennessee in the episode Drew Barrymore, Barrymore is on right now where she's at. Her name is Dee Stebbins, I think. Or Steb something. But yeah, she was the mom on E.T. I love that movie. And y'all, I got another kick with that because then I was like, I didn't know. I thought E.T., they green screened it. But that was like in the 80s or 90s, so they didn't have all that. So they it was an actual uh, like animatronic um, whatever. And I was like, where is E.T.? And so anyway... He's in a museum somewhere, but he's, like, rotted. Like, whatever they use to make the thing, it's just deteriorated over time. So, in the museum, it's like there's parts of his face still in there, but you can just see all the inner workings of the uh, puppet or whatever you want to call it. But that's what I do at night when I can't sleep is I research all this stuff. But I'm fascinated. I'm dying to go. I don't know what is it the Smithsonian where, like, Dorothy's shoes are and all this stuff. I want to see that. And there's a museum in Los Angeles. I forget what it is, but it's. Like, all these huge movies, like, even the one with Cher and whatever, all their outfits and everything, they're all in that museum. I'm just fascinated. Because I always thought these people just had that stuff hanging in their closet or, you know, they put it up. But, no, they donate it to these museums. But I, I think I almost want to keep it all. Like, I would te if I had that much money and I had that many iconic looks, I would set up, like, a, a museum in my house where I could just walk through and look at my stuff. I don't know. You ever been to Dollywood? Mm -mm. Mm, me either. I want to go to that Chasing Rainbows Museum. Okay, y'all, look at that. Let me zoom in for you so you can see better. I want you to see all the different colors mixed together with that ribbon. 
with the opera room before they shut it down and tore it down. What's that opera room? It was an amusement park in Nashville before they tore it down and put in a mall. Oh, of course. Got to put a mall in. It's over by Opera Land Ho- Hotel and the Grand Ole Opry. Oh, wow. Okay, y'all. So I have all that stuff in there. Okay. Oh, hey, Phyllis. Hey, my friend. So, um, all this stuff, hopefully, can be found at ellishomegarden.com. The spring floral is 15% off. And the moss wreaths are on there in different sizes. So say you wanted to scale this down a bit to a smaller size. This is the largest one, but they have other sizes that are smaller. And they have different textures. They have like a grapevine moss wreath too. So all of them are great options for y'all. But I just freaking love them. And to make this little oval, all I did was just push the sides in a little bit. Because it's real easy to work with. I almost said tender. Anyway, this ain't a steak. Um, but I pushed the sides in a little bit. And that's how I got that shaping on there. So... Lauren is asking how much do you miss Morgan since you tour and stuff with us. Who's asking that? Elena. Hi, Elena. Uh, I miss her a lot, but it's not as bad as I thought because we talk on the phone 48 times a day. So, and I FaceTime her. And let me tell you, I think I told y'all what I did last week. We watched, that's what we mostly did together. We watched our shows together, like um, American Idol, uh, Dance with the Stars. You see this movie to Hulu or Disney Plus? Movie to Disney Plus. ABC axed it, and it's going to Disney Plus. Ooh. Now, Disney, if you're watching, because I know you are, Get rid of Tyra. But anyway, um, <laughs> we watched all those shows together. And so I got her Hulu Live so she can watch everything. So we watched it in FaceTime during the shows. It's probably a little, I probably need counseling for that. But anyway, it's really fun. Um, and she comes down. We usually either go up there every two weeks or she comes down every two weeks. So it's not too bad. But I'm more excited for her because I know she's getting out doing her thing. She's bought herself a car. Next week she's going to buy herself a man. And it's going to be perfect. We're going to have a big, happy family. So everything is good. But thanks for asking, Elena. Okay, y'all, enough of me rambling. Again, I hope y'all had a fantastic Easter, and I hope you ate some carbs for me, okay, because I'm hungry. But we love you for watching, and we are so appreciative and grateful for you guys tuning in each and every week here at Ellis Home and Garden, or if you watch me on Designs by Dylan on Facebook. Um, but you guys have a fantastic week, and enjoy the weather. I think we're not supposed to have tornadoes this week for once. So. We're supposed to have rain tomorrow. Oh, we're supposed to have rain tomorrow. Just kidding. But um, anyway, y'all have a fantastic day, and we will see you guys next Tuesday at 9 here at Ellis Home and Garden, and uh, y'all come and see us in person, because again, they've got lots of great greenhouse flowers and all the stuff, okay? All right, bye y'all, have a great day. Bye.